It is time for your weekly Marvel Strike Force news update. And this time we are talking about the names of some rumored characters. We also are talking more data mines and we got some dates for some upcoming events. Good stuff, guys. But before we get into all the news, I do want to mention the sponsor of this video clan hq what is clan hq you may ask well it is a brand new fully featured messaging app and it is free right now on the android and ios stores it has all kind of features that can integrate with over 75 different games including marvel strike force you have a fully featured chat with stickers gifts photos, badges, and more. You have a notification setting so that you can tag people and see everyone that reads your messages. You can store your game data right in the app so anyone that wants to check out your entire roster, they can do it with just a click of a button. And that's really valuable, guys. If you're an alliance leader or you are someone that is looking for an alliance, yes, you could find it all right within Clan HQ. You could find the perfect match with just a few clicks. And because the game data Data is integrated with the app itself. You could show off things like your total collection power, your strongest team power, and you could show it off to anyone that wants it right in the app itself. So if you want to learn more about Clan HQ, check out the link in the description. They're adding new features all the time, guys. It's really good stuff. And if you want to be one of the first to use it, make sure you check it out. So make sure you check out Clan HQ, guys. But if you are ready to get into the Marvel Strike Force news update, knock on wood if you're with me. Valley Flyer. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. It is news time, your Marvel Strike Force weekly news update with my partner in crime, Casino. What is up, brother? How are you doing? Doing good. What's going on? Ooh, exciting week. We got uh, some more rumored characters' names being dropped in this video. We got some more data mines being revealed, more upcoming events, talking about a bunch of of stuff an exciting week so uh before we get into that blue stacks i am playing all blue stacks so make sure you check that out there's a link in the description it doesn't cost anything and it does support the channel patreon valley merch and the contest winner will be announced in the next video so if you haven't entered make sure you check out my last video and uh leave the hashtag in the comments but without further ado let's get into the news and yeah, guys, this will be a long video as usual. Timestamps will be in the description. So first big news, kind of on a personal note, one of your videos being discussed with the devs and they're making changes based on that video. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's, it's crazy, but it's like a longstanding thing. As a content creator, you can message someone directly at Fox Next and you might get noticed. Or you can make a video that gets a bunch of views and you'll definitely get noticed. <laughs> so it's like, I, I would think they'd want to incentivize, right? This was about bugged characters. So I would think that they would be like, hey, if something's bugged, no need to make a scene about it. Just just let us know. But that doesn't do anything. Whereas if I make a video, they're like, oh, wait, we, we got to fix that right away. They're, they're looking out for you, Casino. They want you to get the views, you to get the notoriety. I guess then so. Then they're going to fix it. And, uh, I guess so. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about making a sequel video. I got 10 more ready to go. But yeah, so we did a video uh, on 10 bugged character abilities, top 10. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out because Cerebro uh, told me that they are looking at every single one of those characters and they're going to be either updating the way the ability works or the ability description uh, in the not too distant future. Uh, only one of them so far I got an official comment on, which was Storm. They said Storm's ability is working as intended, it's just not worded properly. Oh, surprise, surprise. That, that's that's a new one, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we've heard that from them a few times before. But so it's, uh, hers is weird. Uh, hers, it's, uh, the ability description says she gains 100% focus when using her special. Mm -hmm. But what the way it's actually coded is she's locked to 100% focus, which... Normally that doesn't do anything. What it does is it means she's immune to offense down reducing her focus. Oh, okay, so okay. she can't be focus reduced when using it, but that's not the same as gaining extra focus when using it. Yeah. But, and no other character has like a, you know, can't be reduced stat. 
So it's it's different, but you know if they say it's working as intended, all right. But yeah, anyway, if you want to know what what characters are expecting either description changes or mechanical changes, uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, check out the video. Shout out to the cameo in there. <laughs> but oh yeah, there's a great great cameo by a uh, guy you guys might have heard of on this channel, uh, Maybe, Valley Flying. Perhaps, Flying? perhaps, yeah. That that guy Valley, appears Valley in that something. in that video somewhere, so <laughs> you'll you'll see that dude. Um, Valley flipping, whatever. <laughs> something like that. All right, milestones. Milestones are gone, and new ones were replaced, and there's no character in there. We used to have Mysterio, now there's no one. What are, what are your thoughts on uh, no new uh, character right away? They, they did take a little while between Captain Marvel and Mysterio, and yeah, Captain Marvel and Mysterio. How yeah, long? How long do you think it's going to be like this? <laughs> I don't know, and so I'll tell you this, it, it's clear to me, they've been changing up the milestones a lot, it's clear to me that they're trying to find a sweet spot for what milestones are just to the point where it might motivate people to pay to get those last few. Mm. Which is kind of silly to me, like, I feel like I could design milestones right now that would be just out of reach of what people would get for free, that would, like, make people be like, should I spend the extra 50 cores to get this? Like, I, I think I could do that pretty easily, but they're, they're obviously like, what if we make them really hard or if we make them really easy they're kind of going all over the place and so yeah they're they're clearly experimenting with that and so they brought in a new character mysterio when they were like we're gonna make them tougher but if we make them tougher let's at least put new character shards in for the yeah rewards. but they, they reduced they... some of the rewards when they did that and then they said oh we're reducing it and then we're gonna make it better because mysterio is added and right they, and now mysterio is gone and everything else is the same so it's just right so weird. it's 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 clearly not as good as it was, but it, again, they're you know they're they're experimenting with what is going to motivate people with the milestones, and so like I, you know I'm not thrilled about it, but at the end of the day, I see the milestones as like I'm just going to be doing that stuff anyway. The milestones are just me getting free stuff, so yeah, I would like it better if I got more free stuff. I, I do like those shards. Those shards were kind of cool to have in there. So. Yeah, yeah, I didn't mind the shards, but the, like the milestone orbs themselves aren't bad, so yeah, I don't mind that. And and I saw a couple there. people upset like. This is BS! They they said they were making it tougher for Mysterio, and now that there's no Mysterio, they're totally Why taking advantage so of us. And uh, <laughs> I want to point out, like, and uh, here we go again, How, you know, this far into the video before I can be labeled as a Fox Next apologist, but... Six minutes, they didn't six say, minutes this time, so you, yeah, you're, you're getting better. Minutes. Getting better. Yeah. yeah. But they didn't say we're gonna <laughs> then make it easier later. They're like, we're making it harder now. And then they did, yeah. and then that's it. Yeah. And so now it's still harder. Yeah. But they never said like we're making it harder now and only now. So, you know, it's whatever. I, I totally understand the people who are like, eh. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just worse rewards than they were. Like, yeah. But, you know, I, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm owed good rewards from the milestones. I'm I'm I like the milestone orbs, so I just don't let it stress me. Yeah. Is it worse? Yeah. yeah. Do I care much? No. I'm I'm kind of in agreement with you. I'd rather have that character there, but they're, they're just there for you know getting uh, doing doing what we do in the game anyway. You know, so yeah, it's it is what it is. But we did get some not really compensation, but we got something instead. We got new milestones for Namor based on Blitz, based on opening certain orbs, which kind of surprised me and uh, probably some other people that were saving some orbs. But uh, what are your thoughts on these Namor milestones? How are, how are you doing with them? I absolutely love them. And so I've been, I've been waiting to talk about this because I, I don't know if Fox Next view this as something that was originally my idea. But I view this as something that was originally my idea because I have been suggesting that they do this for a while. So they might have come up with it on their own. Like it wasn't the craziest idea to ever have. But I had been suggesting for a while before Cerebro even worked there. And now that Cerebro works there, I have been saying Blitz would be more fun if you got some kind of loot from every single battle. Make it random so every battle could be that battle where you get the big loot drop. But... I was saying just just make there always be a drop from Blitz. Mm -hmm. And so they've done that and I like it. And then I've also suggested it would be cool if there was a character unlock that was tied to random Blitz battles. Uh, you know, you just keep doing Blitz and you, you know, you get the random loot and that's how you farm up the character. Yeah. And that's exactly what we got. So it's, it's a unique character unlock method, uh, which I really like. And it makes Blitz more fun. And I mean, it's, it's proof positive that people 
enjoyed Blitz and went harder for Blitz because if you look like most of the players, especially towards the top end, don't really need Iron Fist. Yeah. And yet the scores for Iron Fist at the top end were pretty high. So it obviously motivated people to play Blitz, even when it was a character they don't care about. Let me let me ask and you personally. I, I you, think that's a win. You, you have a seven star right. Iron Fist. How much did you score for this uh, past Blitz for Iron Fist? I did like six point something mil, mm. and I've had seven star Iron Fist for a while. I did. About, I didn't do it for Iron Fist. I did about four mil, and that was mostly on tier one on autoplay because uh, yeah, or tier you, one and two because yeah I, I wanted Namor, not Iron Fist. So. Yeah. I just did Ooh. it in tier eight anyway. I figure if I'm doing it, I you know. I'll do it tier eight, tier one, doesn't matter. And mm. it's more exciting when I do the blitz battles on stream if I'm actually taking tough fights with new characters. Yeah, but, I wasn't I yeah. wasn't streaming, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yours yours is quicker and more efficient for sure. But uh it clearly motivated more people to play Blitz. Everyone I've talked to was like, This is great. I I like this a lot better. Yeah. Um I'm one of those and, and I like and I like what they've done by like doubling it up. Like not only do you get the orbs where you can get Namor, but then just for opening the orbs you're getting those milestones for Namor, and it's like an alliance event, so you get to, you know, your, your whole alliance can work together, and if everyone does lots of blitz, everyone can get lots of good stuff, so yeah, I just, I, I'm really happy with this whole thing, and uh, again, I have no idea if there's any conversation around the office that was like, hey, Casino had a good idea, we should listen to him more often. That's probably what uh, it is, I should push you on the payroll. Uh, because a lot of people <laughs> think you're already on the payroll, so they should just do that right. instead of you having to make videos and tell them what's wrong. They, you, you can just, you can just, uh, hey, that's go, what go I'm fix saying. This. Uh, let's make, yeah. let's make this game mode. That's, that's what they should do. That's what I'm saying. I, I had someone on Twitter. I, I made like the infographics. Someone on yeah. Twitter was like, "Hey, MSF, can you take Casino off your payroll already?" And I was like. <laughs> Whoa, can we start with putting me on their payroll before we That'd take be me nice, off? That'd right? be great. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm going to agree with you. I like these uh, Blitz milestones. Makes it fun. They've done these in the past, and it's been kind of random. You know, some some battles you win, you get nothing, and I didn't like that. But with this right. one, with the Iron Fist one and the current Rhino one, you, in the minimum you get is 50. I know you, right. you we were talking earlier, you got a 2,000 drop, so that's like an orb yeah. right there. So I, I, I like that part of it, and it's cool. Uh, the orb away milestone, little disappointing, I got to say, but I do like it. They're, they're kind of double up on the rewards. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I do want to throw this, this out there. And this, like, to me and you, this sounds like common sense. And I would have thought this was common sense, but I have been asked this like 30 times okay. since it started. Let's get it the out there. I've been asked, Let's get it out there. Here we go. The question I've been asked is, uh, what determines how many frags you get at the end of each blitz battle? And the answer is RNG. It's, it's oh, random. Oh, okay. I thought, wait, wait. It was like, if there's something I don't know here, what is this? Right, okay. no, yeah, it's okay. just random. <laughs> It's random, but I've heard all these far-fetched <laughs> theories. I get people messaging me like, hey, when I use three Marvel 80th characters, I got 450 from the end of my Blitz battle, but then when I use two, I got 100. How come it's so much less? And I'm like, what? what, what? <laughs> it's random. <laughs> but there's, there's tons of people trying to connect the dots. So no, you know, no shame in the comments. If you were trying to figure out what made the amount different every time, yeah, I let think, me know. I'll, I think, I'll feel better about. I think a lot of us. Out. I mean, I think you and I and some other people just uh, take it for granted. We've been playing this game for a long time, you know, over a year. Some people haven't been playing as long, so you know, they these these questions yeah. are uh, seem strange to us. But yeah, I, I totally get it. If uh, not knowing what's going on, let me ask you but, this personally: Did you did you switch up your teams for this blitz to make use of the Marvel Adia? No. No. I did initially, but then I was like, I, you know what? Let me just play my normal teams. I'm playing them anyway to get these these uh, yep. orb fragments. So I'm just going to switch back to my normal teams. There's there's literally like two characters that aren't already on a sure to win blitz team that I would want to put on there for this event. There's like two, maybe three. I'd have to check. So those two aren't getting as much play. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm I have every character in the game, so I'm I'm using most of them. I'm getting a lot, so I'm not missing out on much. Mm. So. Cool, cool. Uh, orbs that came with this event. We mentioned them earlier. What do you think of the orbs themselves? Because we haven't really talked, we haven't really known what the contents were uh, until now, until this news video. So uh, I'm just looking at this off as I'm um, mentioning the characters. Captain Marvel's in there, Colossus is in there, Falcon is in there, Loki is in there. 
Uh, Vision is in there for people that haven't farmed him. Thing, Namor. I got the thing, yeah. I mean, it, it looks pretty good. What are your thoughts on this uh, Marvel 80th orb? Yeah, I mean, it's there's there's so many characters in there. That yeah, the, my experience has been that most of them that I get, I don't need. But if you're a new player, you know, it's great. You're you're getting all these random shards for all these new characters, so it's great if you're new. Um, there there's stuff in there I like when I get Namor, when I get the thing, etc. I'm Captain Marvel, Colossus. I'm very happy, Colossus. but uh. I haven't, yeah, Colossus. I haven't got him yet, but I, I saw him in the orb. I want him. <laughs> yep. I haven't gotten Colossus yet, but I, I did get a Falcon. So, yeah, there's definitely good stuff in there. The thing is, it's very unsatisfying quantities. You know, you're getting three shards at a time. So. Yeah, I think I think I got a gold. I'm like, oh, and it turned out to be like an eight or something. I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's oh, the best. Okay. <laughs> the best you're going to get is eight, and, and that's always going to be Namor. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then the stuff on the sides is not very exciting. I, I think like a purple drop on, or a gold drop on the side is like, like fifteen thousand gold or something. It's not a lot. Yeah. So you know what? Honestly, I've opened all these orbs. I haven't really noticed the other pillars. I've only seen what's in a center. Yeah, so I should I should not... start paying attention to that. I guess there there's like super tiny quantities of purple gear. I saw I, I got like two ABCs. I got okay. like two purple damage cats. So like it is stuff I need. In short, the orbs are things I need. But I you know I wish the rewards were ten times what they are. Every individual opening is very unsatisfying. Mm. But I feel like it's made up to me. Like every time I open one of those orbs, I'm like, eh, whatever. Even if I'm like, ooh, three Colossus shards. Like, okay, now I'm only 260 away from starring in the. I, every time I get but, a Namor, uh, I feel like I'm beating the odds. I'm like, oh yes, yeah. Just beat the getting odds a Namor there. feels good. <laughs> but I like the 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 milestones for opening these orbs. Like every mm. couple of orbs, you hit the next milestone, and they start getting. After really after, good, after so. a while, it used to be every orb you get it, but after a while, you got to open like. Yeah, bunch, it starts spacing yeah. out. I mean, as it should, but, it, it but ramps I like up that like the, that. Yep, but the other one ramps up too, where like each time you hit one of the Marvel 80th Blitz milestones, like now we're getting like a full orb each time, so yeah. that's kind of nice. And like 10 shards of Namor instead of one or two. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts, yeah. starts getting good, so. And I like, you know, this is going to go for two weeks, so like I had, I had someone complaining like, oh, at this rate, this will be the first new character that I'm not even going to get to four star with this unlock method. And I'm like, what are you what are you talking about? They said this to me at at the end of the first blitz and they were at like 38 shards. And I was like, oh. this is going for four full blitzes. Mm. You're at 38 at the end of the first one. Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> and then like they ramp up. By the end we're going to yeah. be getting more. So I I already at this point we're not even all the way through the second of these major blitzes going on in this event. And I th I'm at like 70 something Namor shards. I think I. Just from this. I unlocked Namor. I unlocked Namor on Sunday. Already? So, just through this? Yeah, just through this. I didn't I didn't buy that Ooh. $50 pack. It was ridiculous. Yeah. But So, so yeah, all the people who are like, ah, this is way worse shards than other unlock methods, like, no, just relax. No, it isn't. I mean, maybe if your alliance is not that hardworking, but mine's doing fine. Yeah. And, and if they're not, and you are, then get to an alliance that is yeah. and if you're someone that's casual and your alliance is going hard then get with a casual alliance drop them a youtube link to the song i don't want no scrubs and then <laughs> dips it yes do that drop that link guys all right uh rhino blitz is going on as we speak your predictions are all over the place what what is going on with this blitz here this rhino blitz what are your thoughts well, on so this thing? It's it's not fair to say our predictions are all over the place. We have one predictor in particular <laughs> who, who's kind of gone off the deep end a little bit, I think. I mean, he's very adamant. Like, we talk to him, and he's not being completely unreasonable about it. I, he, He's like, look, you know, Rhino is needed for two legendary characters. Both of those legendary characters have events this month. Tons of people are going to want Rhino, and they may not be able to farm Rhino quickly enough from the Blitz store. Plus, this is also how you get Namor, so everyone's going to blitz a lot anyway. Uh, he thinks people are going to break records, and this will be the highest blitz scores we've ever had. Um, excluding, like, quarter blitzes and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so he, he went really high. I, I'll i tell you this, I was the highest prediction for Iron Fist. I thought, like, all right, people are going to want Namor. People are going to want these orbs. Mm -hmm. I, I thought they were a little low last time. I went higher than everyone, and I was 600k short. Mm for top 1500, which is a lot. Mm. So I'm also like, maybe it's just even higher than we think. So yeah, I'm, I would say on this one, go high to be safe. I, The big thing for me, why I don't think it'll be 
outrageous crazy is one there's got to be a, a good amount of people who are like screw it i'll just farm rhino from the blitz store i don't care it's not worth yeah no lifing it for three days it's, yeah. i'll just farm rhino from blitz store i don't care or i'll just buy an offer i don't care so that's part of it and then for me the other thing is the very next blitz like the day yeah. this one ends the human torch blitz starts that one i think will for sure break records i, I think johnny I, storm's blitz is gonna be i agree with you through the roof and then every, and it, and we got the another day blitz i land we're in talking seattle about. oh we're, we're gonna talk about that too so yeah Big yeah. event coming up for you and another blitz that may break the Human Torches record. But man, if this, if some of these uh, numbers that you guys are putting out for this Rhino Blitz is true, it makes me uh, very scared for what's going to happen to Human Torch. I Yeah, I mean, I'll <laughs> give you my, my preliminary thoughts on that. We'll see how hard people go for Rhino. But at the end of the day, like to, to really, really score high on a blitz, you, you go for broke. At the end, you spend every last refresh you have. Mm -hmm. And there's no way the day Human Torches Blitz is starting, people are going to spend every last thing they've got on Rhino. So yeah. we'll see. But we'll see. I think it'll be high, we'll but see. I don't think it'll be Colossus high. All right. So in other news, uh, it wouldn't be a Marvel Strike Force week without bugs, right? <laughs> the block party is back, or is it? What, what, what's, what happened with this thing? <laughs> I, yeah, this is the one that blows my mind. It's like, how do you mess up, like, the 26th block party event? You know what I mean? How does this happen? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, sure, point, right? I, I'm sure in developer speak, there's, you know, something that makes it make sense. But, yeah, from an outsider's perspective, I'm like, how many block parties have we had? How does this happen? I don't know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. It, it wouldn't be Marvel Strike Force without bungling something. Uh, for better or so. worse, that's kind of uh, what this game has become. So yeah, that's something yeah, and they, so we get some awesome compensation for it. Yeah, and it's yeah, yeah. Like the the compensation is nice. This one actually, we're not getting any any additional. I don't think so. I don't think but, so. Um, <laughs> but I'll 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 have to take a note on that. But um, for uh, specifically stuff like this, like I have told them several times, like mm -hmm. I. I'm not sure people prefer you putting out so much stuff so quickly Yeah. when you, like, it's not actually faster when you have to redo everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if every other event, you're like, oh, we had to take it down and reformulate it. And then we had to take time and discuss and debate a compensation package. Like if they just kept a slower pace, yeah. slow and steady wins the race, you know? I agree. So I've, agree. I've told them, like, I love new content, but. You're, you're clearly trying to juggle too many plates and you keep breaking plates and then it's not more effective when you have to keep sweeping up plates. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, but, it's, it's like the old adage, right? Do it right the first time and then you have to do it right, do it over again or have to, you know, it's it's, it's so much easier just to do it right the first time. So hopefully, hopefully that gets done or not, you know, maybe, maybe we just keep getting this uh, crazy compensation for little weird things that happen, but. Now, now I want to put something else out here. It's oh. going to be neatly buried in the middle of this video, but it might be just good enough to start a Reddit riot. Oh. You want to start a Reddit riot? Uh, let's let's see what it's about. What, what is this Reddit riot about this time? It, it's about it's about uh, Block Party. Okay. So. Oh, oh, I know what you're going to say. Yes, yes. Okay. You too? Uh, I, I know what it is, yeah. It's, it's... Okay. So yeah, uh, sorry uh, other people. So there's definitely going to be some people mad at me, but for everyone that uh, didn't get to take advantage of it, they'll be thankful, I guess. Um, shooting myself on the foot here, but here we go. So uh, watch you cut this from the video. <laughs> I'm going to keep it in. I'm, but, uh, I know what you're going to say. I'm going to keep this in. <laughs> all right. Um, so uh, they they uh, launched the block party, and it was all not working right. You really had to, to fiddle with it to be able to do it the first time around, but I was able to do it and get all my tier four mats the first time around. Uh -huh. Then they made a post basically saying, all right, we're bringing it back. If you were able to do it the first time, you won't be able to do it the second time because it wouldn't be fair for those people to get double tier fours. Mm -hmm. So they brought it back for everyone not affected. Uh -huh. But I think they brought it back for everybody because I, I think they did, did it again I think they this did morning. Also. I think they did also. <laughs> yeah, I got some. I got an, an extra 150 uh -huh. tier four mats. Uh, thank you, Fox Next. So. I'm I'm not gonna raise hell over that, <laughs> no, but but, uh, but it, it definitely should be fair. I I I, I... I got I got it as, twice as well, and uh, definitely should be fair for those people that didn't get it twice. Uh, bring it so, back one more yeah, time, so Fox X. Do it one more time, but do it for don't, just no, just people. just mail everyone uh, 150 tier four masks called Square. Yeah, I think they. No, I, I, I think I, I've heard that they were doing that as well. 
and some people got it three times now. <laughs> oh well, no, that was so that no, that was they were doing partial. Uh, uh, if you if you did it like once the first time, they mailed you like the other two. Oh uh, okay okay I see. Uh. Greek the gamma raids are over. No Greek raid right now. Good thing is there's no Greek raid going on, but the bad thing is no extra gold. I haven't seen anything in data mines. Have you heard anything about when the next Greek raid is coming back? <laughs> No, uh, I have no idea what's up with that. I mean, they, I feel like I, I don't remember very, very clearly, but I feel like they've, they've just taken breaks before. Like there's just no they green have, grade. But for... they've had a good streak of about, what is it? Three or four yeah, in were, a row back to back. They were going consistent right? for a while. Yeah, yeah they, they, they had a good good bunch of consistency, but now they're, they're breaking again and they haven't really said what's going on with that. And uh, all this means to me is, yeah, I miss the uh, the extra resources. I wish there was always a Greek raid. And it also means that I'm going to get asked every single day several times from now until they come back, hey, do you know when the Greek raids are coming back? So I'll go ahead and answer that now. I have no idea. Okay, that uh, is the answer, I look forward guys. to answering it again tomorrow. <laughs> no idea. So we mentioned the Human Torch Blitz coming uh, this week, this Thursday. Also got... Uh, word of it coming next Thursday as well. So two uh, Human Torch Blitzes coming in a row. Uh, what are your thoughts on Human Torch? I know you have unlocked him and are having fun playing with a character in Blitz, correct? Uh, oh yeah, mine. I got pretty strong uh, as of today. I got five gold stars on him. I got four red stars on him. And Ooh. I believe he's gear tier 11. Oh, you built up um, quick. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I saved up a lot for him. Um, so yeah, he's 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 burning stuff. Uh, I like him quite a bit. Uh, he's a lot like Pyro. Uh, he's a glass cannon. He's very squishy, okay. and uh, he doesn't always survive until his turn three. Now, if you're gonna get Sue Storm, he sure, will always yeah. survive until turn three, or at least he should, because I mean, she's gonna give all that extra health and all the barrier and put him in stealth and everything like that. So his survivability shouldn't be an issue. But mm -hmm. currently, if you're gonna run him. You gotta run him with good protection. You want a tank, and ideally you want someone who's at least gonna give him some defense up or something, because mm. he has made a tissue paper. But when he gets to that ult on turn three, absolutely nukes everything, the offense down on everyone. Really, really good. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've been I've been using him quite a bit. Uh, I've already put tier fours into three of his abilities, Ooh. and I'm thinking about doing the fourth one. Whoa, that um, good of a character, huh? Uh, well, it's just those upgrades are that good for him. They really change the way he plays. So, which are which are yeah, the three, by big. the way. Uh, I have everything but the basic right okay. now. But even the basic, uh, I'm really mulling it over because um, it's it's all in all. If you add in an extra turn of bleed plus the additional damage on the first bleed and the second turn of bleed and the extra thirty percent, it ends up being like a hundred and eighty percent more damage. It's over a whole additional turn but uh yeah it ends up being like a sizable damage upgrade so nice. and he's always got offense up too so it's it's that multiplied by one and a half so mm, yeah. yeah he uh he's a glass cannon but he's he's an absolutely excellent glass cannon and uh if you like put star lord next to him or thanos because he's cosmic if you get him energy so he can use his ult on turn two oh it's absolutely devastating mm. so and if you use him in war with that full fantastic four team in namor he needs extra oh, damage, yeah. and he's getting extra damage, and he's got some protection. He's not as glassy, and he's more cannony. Should be good. Oh yeah, Should be good. and everyone's spawning with those offense ups, and then he's extending them. Yeah, it's just a fun it's really team. Awesome. I can't wait to try um, that full team. Yep, I mean, I used the the three we have in war against uh, mobile gamer and Combs, and it was oh, very effective. Oh, Thank you. Get little, little. <laughs> All right. Um, but enough about those losers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Shuri event. We are getting the legendary Shuri coming back, baby. What? Do you have her at seven stars already? I'm ready. You have her at seven stars? All right. No, no. I don't have her at seven stars. Okay. okay. I have her at six. And be... I have what I need to get her to seven this time, except for Carnage. Mm. And I don't I don't think I have time to what about get Carnage vulture? from the war store. Or... Vulture, no, 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 no. Vulture or I'm not. Uh, Rhino, are they ready? No, neither of them are getting close to seven. No, it's Carnage. Carnage is the closest. I'm probably gonna have to buy one Carnage offer, but for one Carnage offer, I will get my five red star Carnage to seven gold stars, which is amazing. And Carnage is an awesome character. Like I'm happy to power him up anyway. Mm. 
and then that gets me seven star Shuri and all my Wakandans except a Koye and Shuri are already seven gold star so a lot will will come together uh, for this so I I think I'm gonna treat myself while I'm at PAX get a get a carnage offer and <laughs> get seven star Shuri most likely but yeah I'm ready man she needs to she needed to come back a lot of people have been missing out i think uh, you're gonna start seeing a lot more shuri raid comps once more people actually have her mm. she's a lot better than people realize just so few people have her so as for someone that's new how hard should you really be pushing with your spider verse if you're trying to get shuri and you don't have her unlocked is she worth really pushing for or just do what you can and wait for the next go round? i i think so so she's just an incredibly strong solo character like she does so much on her own and just there are a very small amount of characters that can give everyone two turns of defense up, mm -hmm. and she makes herself on spawn get speed up, so she goes really, really early with the two turns of defense up, which in most instances means just as soon as you put Shuri on the team, they can weather the storm of an enemy team's like turn one and turn two barrage mm. very easily, because they've got defense up. So... Just right away, based off that, is awesome. She's giving out ability energy. She heals, and it's like a smart heal. So if one person is close to death, she can really heal that one person quite a bit. So I think she's a very strong character. Now, I would say, I don't know that I would go out of my way to power up your Spider-Verse specifically for her, even though she's very good, but I would power up my Sinister Six so that you can get Invisible Woman and Shuri. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. And, and from what I'm hearing, she sounds like she's a good solo character, not just in that Wakandans team. So yeah, yeah, yeah. probably worth pushing a little bit early for Invisible Woman if you're close to that Sinister Six already. I'm I'm probably going to run her as my fifth Fantastic Four member until Sue Storm is out. So. Mm, that's, that's a good replacement. The defense up, the healing like you talked about. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, we'll see. All right. Also coming very soon on 8.30... We have an 80 core refresh, so they never go past 80 cores for uh, your energy. Uh, there was a post on Reddit did you did, uh, that uh, talked about maximizing this. Did you happen to see this post? Yeah, uh, credit to you actually for showing it to me. So, you know, we shouldn't get into all the numbers because it, it'll just be a big, boring math lecture. But uh, if you want to know how to absolutely min-max your energy uh, valley, found a great post by let's give him credit larry mankin monkin yeah sorry if i butchered sounds your sounds sounds correct and if it's not i apologize larry but uh yeah this is maximize save your energy save your energy around that time guys and maximize it and check out the post uh that larry did on there uh we got more data mines this wouldn't be a this wouldn't be a video without data mines right let's talk oh, about all of the data latest mines. data mines and what is the juiciest one so far? I guess, uh, I, maybe not start with the juiciest. Let's start with this one. The Red Star team, let's, we're going in order. Red Star team featuring right. Wakanda. <laughs> uh, Shuri, Black Panther, Okoye. Worth it to uh, open some Red Star orbs in this time, when this comes around? Um, well, so, it's, I mean, it's deliberately timed right when everyone's gonna be getting Shuri. So, worth it if you just got Shuri and you don't have Red Stars on her. Definitely, but I do want to say, like, I don't like how they've been doing this for legendary characters. For legendary characters, they've been doing this where it's only like a 4%, yeah. and then their other teammates have 4% too. Like, those odds really suck, actually. You're yeah. very unlikely so to get red stars you want on Shuri. Every other character gets their own 10%. So, so. so here's the deal. I, I, I don't remember. I think it was 10% on her original run. So if if it was and this is her subsequent run, then I'm not as it might but bad Phoenix, at it. Phoenix Phoenix, Phoenix was only four percent, and we had right. uh, somebody Shared else in the there that that had a ten percent drop rate. So it was weird. Phoenix kind of got skipped over there. She never really got her full ten percent. Right. Rate. I think I think now what they're doing with legendaries, I think they're making red stars on legendaries rarer too, which uh, all right. It, I don't you want you want to get in some tinfoil hat here? Hit me. All right, so I, there's a theory going around that I've heard. I, I can't know what is going on with this because I don't know what is in the code, but there's a theory going on. If you don't have the character unlocked, 
and you open red stars, you're more likely to get a higher pull for that character. And I know you've probably heard that as well. What, what do you think there's any validity behind this? For, for once, I am completely with you. I 100% think that's the case. I've said it on stream several times. Okay, okay. And <laughs> it could just be, you know, only people are sending me screenshots of their high pulls. But, uh, like, I don't have this know, character yet. Like, <laughs> I got the seven yeah, star yeah, I, character, I, and I'm not going to lie right, for months. I get all those PMs. I get all those PMs. <laughs> I go, oh, I just got seven red stars on Nick Fury. Now, if only I could unlock yeah. him. Uh, I get a lot of those PMs. And, and it, again, no one's sending me the, oh, I just got one red star on Nick Fury. If yeah. only I could unlock him. Mm -hmm. You know, no one's bragging to me about that. So I'm, I'm a biased in what I'm seeing, but I'm thinking of it from Fox Next perspective. And, like, if they gave a brand new player seven red star Nick Fury, it's going to take that player a long time to get seven gold star Nick Fury. It's going to take a ton of investment, but it's like a, it's an incentive for that player. Just keep playing. Like, don't give yeah. up. Yeah, keep yeah. playing, stick with it, maybe buy some offers and make sure you get Nick Fury at his very next <laughs> event because your Nick Fury will be a beast. Mm -hmm. Stick with it. So I 100% believe they're doing that. Yeah, we have no proof of it, but uh, yeah, no, I'm... I'm full tinfoil with you on this one. I, I think they absolutely do that. So, uh, nice, I'm not alone. I'm not yeah, alone in this. <laughs> if, if you're going to open the Red Star Orbs for Shuri, don't press Recruit. Uh, even if you have the Shards to unlock her, do not recruit her. Open the Red Star Orbs first. Uh, this could be, you know, as as ridiculous as some of the other theories. But no what does it hurt? You might as well, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> nothing to lose. But yeah, I, I think there's something to this. Uh, uh, I, I think there is as well. <laughs> uh, next blitz. After Human Torch, it looks like we are getting Mr. Fantastic starting on September 12th. And then again on September 19th. And uh, just like always, you could recruit him early by purchasing the Elastic Orb in the store beforehand. Mr. Fantastic, we are getting uh, another blitz character. What are your thoughts on uh, Mr. Fantastic coming via blitz in a few more weeks? My thoughts include a, a truly offensive pun, which is, uh, I don't want to stretch myself too thin oh. with these blitz charges here. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm really excited for Mr. Fantastic. Uh, want to, want to round out my team at this point, uh, you know, besides Sue. So yeah, just looking for that, that final piece of that puzzle. So yeah. Cool. So after this human torch blitz, uh, you may want to save that following Monday. Um, for this uh, Mr. Fantastic Blitz, if you're going to go hard for him. Uh, Red Star Orb Fragments. It looks like they're coming to the Blitz store for a limited time. It looks like you're going to be able to buy Red Star Orb Fragments with Blitz credits for the next seven days. What are your thoughts on this? This seems like a very oh. interesting data mine to me. It is. I have mixed feelings on this. So on the one hand, like I support what it stands for, which is more Red Star Orbs for people, right? Mm -hmm. It's not hard for people to get a lot of Blitz credits. People are going to be doing more Blitz if we can buy Red Star Orb Frags with Blitz credits, especially if it's a good conversion rate. Mm -hmm. This is great news for everyone. What I don't like about this is we don't know what the conversion rates are. It Now, first off, just I recommend everyone assume it's going to be terrible. I, I don't know about you, Valley. In my experience with Fox Next, anytime I start to get excited about news like this, we see the actual conversion rate. It tends to be pretty disappointing so i i don't want to get too excited i don't know 50 i don't know so yeah something like that uh probably something pretty pretty disappointing but here's the the other thing that's more upsetting is because we don't know like some people are like hey i'm gonna save my blitz credits i want more red star orbs like that's it spending freeze i'm not spending my blitz credits i'm gonna save up and i'm gonna get lots of red star orb frags. Yeah. the thing is they're now not able to farm rhino with both Sue and Shuri's events hitting, you know, in September. Uh, actually, oh yeah, Shuri's in September too. Um, and then they're kind of screwing their team in Alliance War because they're not buying any boosts or war energy. Yeah, so it's it's and, it's, it's it's weird every time they put everything into this Blitz store because of that war uh, energy that it you would just be, mentioned. It would be different if we knew the conversion rates. That would be a totally different story. You could make an educated decision about like, is it worth it mm -hmm. as an alliance to selectively, you know, take it a little easier on war, but make sure we have a good amount saved up for these red stars or what? And uh, yeah, you know, we, we just don't know these conversion rates. So. Uh, 
So we'll have to see when this uh, gets announced officially. It also looks like Rescue is coming to Blitz. And since we have Human Torch and Mr. Fantastic lined up for the next few Thursdays, this looks like it's probably a Monday Blitz coming in one of the Mondays. Uh, Rescue. Happy, sad that she yeah. will be another Blitz character? Uh, I mean, it's uh, on the one hand, I'm like, oh, there's just so many Blitzes I have to participate in now. Like, this is going to start getting exhausting. When am I going to have time to make videos and stuff? But, uh, yeah, I mean, my rescue is not seven stars, so I, I welcome Rescue coming back. And I think a lot of people are going to be happy about that because a lot of people had the wrong idea of Rescue. They they just thought she was kind of garbage. Well, when not, she not unjustly, knew. because right. she was garbage for the first few days of her release. <laughs> Right, exactly. Yeah, they had to fix her ultimate. And then the other thing is people didn't fully appreciate what the power armor team could do, mm -hmm. right? Like, I had been saying, well, rescue, you really only use rescue with power armor. That's about it. Yeah. And so a lot of people are like, ah, oh, well, you know, I'm not getting the other power armor. Or, ah, power armor has some existing characters. Like, there's no legendary... Well, I guess Iron Man is, but, you know, there's, there's no one super important on power armor. Like, I could probably skip that team. And then it was like a week later that people started oh, seeing crap. 140k oh punch-ups in Alliance War. I'm going, what now? These guys now? are punching up crazy. Everybody needs this team. So. I love my power armor team, and mine's not even that strong. Mine's only like 240k, but I take them into like 360k 240k is pretty strong just... for a power armor. Just, just yeah, knowing yeah, how much I they can punch power up. up more, yeah. but I could. Yeah, it's... Exactly. Uh, last item on the data mind list back to school event collect gear and supplies and what this is looking like it is a daily login character it looks like there is going to be a sale with 25 percent off gear purchases how excited are you about this casino oh. <laughs> and we also got some milestones with blitz uh, using the following characters, and these characters are Iron Man, War Machine, Captain America, Falcon, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Thanos, Gamora, Nebula, Nobu, and Elektra. So teachers and pupils is, uh, looks like what's represented here. Yeah, you know, when I think back to school, I think War Machine. Yeah, and, and Thanos and Gamora, that was an awesome relationship, right? In the movie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Genocidal maniacs, absolutely. No, I, uh... Yeah, I mean, I like I'm. I don't know that I'll ever be excited at the prospect of a sale ever again. Like every <laughs> once in a while, they throw me off, and they actually have a really good. Once offer. in a while, like, there's, 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 some, there's some good ones once in a while. <laughs> but, but I'm not gonna prematurely be like, oh yeah, sale is coming. And I also, like, they. I feel like they're you know wh when they didn't used to have sales very often, and then they're like, all right, now we're doing a sale. Like, oh, there hasn't been a sale in many months. You know, get a little excited. Maybe they'll stick something good in here. But now I feel like they're doing a sale. Like every a couple of weeks, they got a sale going, which I imagine they're making more money when people think it's a sale. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's there's one retailer in particular I think of. Uh, I don't know if you've ever shopped at an Express Clothing. No. But uh, their whole like everything in their shop is like sixty dollars retail for like a t-shirt and stuff, and then you know everything is always on sale like 40 percent off uh, and then another like 20 percent off on an online everything coupon, but must you end up just go paying the exact same closing clearance sale something like that <laughs> yeah you end up paying this the same 20 bucks you'd pay for a shirt somewhere else mm -hmm. but you feel like oh i'm getting 40 bucks off this 60 dollar shirt it's like nah so you know once they start doing a sale every other weekend then it's like well so I'll just only buy Some things Some people every must other weekend. believe it, or they wouldn't keep doing that, so... Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> surprise me, so... So we'll see, but I, I don't have high hopes for that event. And it's like a back-to-school event, so, you know, it's different. Like, when Endgame was coming out, it was like, all right, maybe I'll do something really epic for Endgame. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think they've been like, we've been waiting all year for the back-to-school event. Oh, yeah, like, baby. Okay. <laughs> Blow my mind. Let's have the... I, I hope six months from now we're still going, man, can we get another back-to-school event? That was <laughs> I go, nuts. I want to go back to school already because I want that event yeah. to be back. Yeah, summer school. Come on. All right. And, and in case uh, you guys yeah, want to probably. mark these down on your calendar, guys, August 31st, that roll call calendar. Uh, September 13th is that sale. And uh, September 9th is the milestones. So uh, mark your calendars for those and we'll see how they turn out. But uh, I guess the juiciness is about to begin because there have been some rumored characters that have been talked about a lot all over the place. And uh, I guess we're just going to you're just going to reveal it because uh, this is not breaking news. This has been broken somewhere else, right? 
Yeah, well, so there there's a little bit of exclusive news being broke here, but oh, okay. I, I want to open with this disclaimer. Yeah, a little bit, okay. but I want to I want to issue this disclaimer as always with this, but it's very important, especially this time, which is uh, I promised Fox Nix I wouldn't do any more leaking. I cannot stress this enough. These are unconfirmed rumors. Uh, this information is coming from someone that has been right about one thing in the past, but they literally have a a one time establishment of credibility. So firstly, I apologize if, if this is just not true. Uh, I believe it, but I don't know that it's true. And so uh, I've not seen any screenshots from a dev server or anything. So it's not like previous information. Uh, so like I said, I do believe it, but this is unconfirmed rumor we're commenting okay. on here. Not a leak. So, this is uh, this may or may not be true. Right. Okay. Uh, so I believe it, but we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, if it ends up being true, then. Then we'll know we got some some more good intel. All right, all right. Disclaimer but, over. So, Keep going. What, what do we got? Right, yeah. <laughs> so so there's uh I've heard a rumor of three upcoming characters, and here's the other thing I want to say is I don't know when we'd be getting these characters because uh this person allegedly knows someone who works in the art department, and so like Killmonger's model and everything and his art was all done a year before he released. Okay. This is really early on in the character design process as I understand it. So I have no idea, like even if this is absolutely up to date, these are the characters being worked on, it could be a year before we see them. And I, so. and I guess at some point they could be scrapped as well if it takes that long. Yeah, yeah. The they could end up in limbo so. for who knows okay. how long. Yes, exactly. So, right. so I don't know, but having said that, All right. Let's get a lot it. of things Cerebro has said line up with these being true. Okay. So, I've been uh, I've been playing a game with my stream. I've been letting them ask me. Uh, I've I've chosen a couple people at random to ask yes no questions every day on stream and help them uh -huh. narrow down who the characters are. Uh -huh. I've also been dropping hints. I'm not sure how many people pick up on them, but I've been dropping hints in these news videos. Uh, for for example, we heard a rumor for a new Asgardian character. I don't know how many people noticed. Some of you did. Shout out to the people that noticed. I mentioned I was hella excited for the new Asgardian character. Oh, here it comes. All and, the uh, past news videos, they are, all the codes are being released now. <laughs> eh, yeah. Fun, fun with language. Like it, uh, like it. So, so I did hear rumor that the upcoming Asgardian character will be Hela. Okay. Uh, I certainly hope that's true. And Cerebro made a comment uh, specifically... During the q and I had mentioned a Thor rework, and he basically said, well, it would make sense to rework Thor if slash when we release new Asgardian characters. Okay. So he probably, this is my guess here, he probably didn't have the authority to say, hey, we're, we are reworking him when we release Hela or whatever. If that's, but, what, uh, if that's what they're even doing. Right, yeah, it could, could be totally unrelated, but it would make sense why he was like, ah, he seemed like, ah, don't, don't worry about the Thor rework. Okay. Which made me think, like, oh, they, they already got something planned for it. Um, I hope it could happen then, around the time of the Hulk rework, but all right, as long as it's happening. Yep. It's cool. <laughs> then I did hear a rumor about uh, a new X-Men character, and uh, today on stream someone finally asked the right yes-no question that, that cracked that one open. Uh, the rumor I've heard for a new upcoming X-Men character is Beast. Okay. Uh, I, I saw a lot of you guys' comments last week, guys, so good of you guys get guessed Beast. You win. Big yep. thumbs up for uh, me. So, and I mean, he's he's pretty classic X Men and uh, very distinct. So, I could definitely see him joining the the team as well. Nice. And then uh, we've also been talking about a, a rumored upcoming AIM character. I dropped a little hint to this one, saying that I'd I thought that a lot of people were gravitating to Modok, and I didn't think it was Modok. We could still get Modok. I don't know, but I did hear rumor, and this is the the little bit of exclusiveness. I did hear rumor that we are getting Graviton, mm. who's the upcoming AIM character. I didn't know who that was. I had to Google them. Um, apparently, they're they're an AIM villain, and uh, yeah, they're kind of like an evil Quake okay. almost. Uh, Sounds interesting. They so could do that's... they could do a lot of cool things. I think with that character's animations. So. Interesting. Yep. And, uh, and also, uh, okay, go. What you just to cover my own ass here, Fox Next. If you're mad, like, did you hear a casino said in the video? I have no idea if this stuff is true. Feel free to PM me and say, these are the characters coming. Do not say anything about them. I'm happy to follow those rules, but as I don't know how true these rumors are, I'm happy to talk about them. And uh, me too, because I'm under NDA, and if I hear anything official, I can't say it, so. 
Same. <laughs> All right, uh, that's about it for the news. You have some news on a personal front. You are uh, about to go to, you mentioned a couple times in this uh, news video, going to PAX West. You want to tell everybody about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not too much to it. Uh, PAX West, I believe, is the, the 30th through the 2nd, uh, Friday through Monday coming up. So I will be in Seattle attending all four days of PAX West. If you're going to be out there, uh, feel free to PM me on Discord or whatever, and let's meet up and hang out. Uh, I, I don't have a legion of friends in Seattle. I'll mostly be chilling at an Airbnb, doing streams from a laptop. But Airbnb I'm hanging out at has a, a hot tub, so... Come hang out. All you Washingtonians, send them a tweet on Twitter. Tag them. Let them know uh, where you're at. And uh, Casino, thank you for joining me again on the weekly news update for Marvel Strike Force. You want to tell everybody where else you're at normally? I know you're there this week, but uh, where are you at normally? Where, they, where can they yep, everybody I'm normally find you? I'm gonna try to stream normal times this week, but oh, uh, nice. yeah, in a normal week, I stream Marvel Strike Force every single day on Twitch, twitch.tv slash casino, every day at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Specifically with PAX, uh, they have a section you can bring your own PC and, and stream from there. I did it last year, so I should, you know, it might be at different times, but I'm, I'm gonna try to stream on there. Nice. Uh, I got a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash casino. I've got videos scheduled to come out while I'm at PAX, and then anyone's welcome to join my Discord, discord.gg slash casino. We got Blitz predictions, infographics, videos, all that good stuff. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. And I hope you guys like the good stuff in this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Tell all of your friends. Share this with them. Check out some of my other videos. And make sure you like and ring that notification bell, guys. Join the notification squad. Check out some of the links down below. I mentioned before, Bluestacks, Patreon, Valley Merch. And check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will see you guys next time. Hulk fist bump, valley flying, out!